Hi guys, we're back with the update on our 172nd scale Revell uh, FRU-1A Corsair slash uh, Fleet Air Arms uh, Corsair Mark II. Uh, we took a set of decals from the Airfix kit, which is a total, total turd. Uh, I've actually built, built it once before. I'll show it to you. It looks pretty cool now. But boy, was it a ton of work. Um, but anyway, on this one, we have the paint and the, and the decals are on. We're going to let those cure overnight and then we'll put a uh, flat coat on it and we'll do a little more weathering. I'll turn it over and show you the bottom side. I got some stills too of this, so, um, so it goes together pretty quick. Obviously, we were doing. I decided to do this uh, wheels up. I'm going to use one of the Airfix uh, stands to put it on. Um, let's see. We got our prop here. Um, I may may make a an acrylic one to do the prop blur. I haven't decided yet. I want to do that or not. I may just go with the one. We do have under the canopy here under the. Masking, we do have a pilot in there. He actually came from the Airfix kit. Um, so yeah, that's where we're where the add on the Corsair. I won't have the won't have the stand for a couple of days. It's supposed to be Amazon says Friday, but that doesn't necessarily mean it actually be here on Friday. Um, so. The next video will probably be over the weekend will be a final on that. But as long as we're here. So this video you have to go way back in my in my archives to see it, but I will put a link for it in the description. This is the Airfix version. And I actually just bought this originally just for the decals. Because I was going to use do do the do what I'm doing right now. Use the decals for the Rebel kit or Tamiya kit. I had the Rebel, but I was thinking about buying the Tamiya one. But one day I was really really bored, so I got out the razor saw and we cut open all the flaps, the elevator, and the rudder, and the uh, ailerons. They're all all been cut and, and repositioned all that I left the there along straight but they cut cut them out um, so we cut out the three section flaps and say so the rudder red is rudder is kicked and the uh, elevators are drooping which the crew chief for the for the airplane would be on the on the pilot's ass for for leaving leaving this plane like that without locking the controls. Uh, the flaps would go would go down because they were hydraulically operated. So when the uh, when the engine is off, the hydraulic pressure drops and they would automatically droop. But when they would land, they'd have the flaps down anyway. Uh, depending on the runway, well, once they landed, a lot of times they would raise the flaps up so that. Uh, Mud and gunk wouldn't damage the, uh, or the taxiway wouldn't damage damage them. But that's I'm off on there. Um, I did put bombs on this one. I don't normally put put ordnance on my World War II fighters. I kind of like them clean. Um, I'm use some Easy Line for the for the rigging, but that's is so tiny. You know, me. There now you can see it. But you can see how this not only is this kit not only has it have raised panel lines but they just put eight million rivets on it including on parts that would be fabric there's a section of the wing this whole section of the wing here would be would be fabric and the airlines would be plywood and uh, yeah they just they didn't put any rivets on there that's to their credit But they do put it, see the fabric section, they got rivets all the way through there. But at the end of the day, I mean, it, it looks like a, let me zoom back out. 
at the end of the day, it looks like what it's supposed to be, and say, with that extra work, I turned it into something something decent. I also had to scribe in the uh, cow flaps. It didn't have any cow flaps on it at all. I say that's that's the Airfix one. And now we'll go back to the Rebel. And you can see the difference. How much nicer with the recessed panel lines and no eight zillion rivets that would be the size of a half dollar all over it. So there you go. That's what we're working on. Um, keep your eye out in the next day or so. I'm going to do a, a video announcing February 1st was the first video, 10 years ago was the first video I put on this channel. I actually opened the channel up in October of 2013, but I didn't have a video up on it until February 1st of 2014, so that'll be the 10th anniversary. I've been on YouTube since uh, 2007 uh, with my uh, model railroading channel, and then my third channel I started about a year, or a year, maybe two years ago now, for the guitar building. But the model building channel, the one you're watching right now, on February 1st will be 10 year, 10th anniversary of the first video I put up on that. And we're going to do something special for it. I haven't decided what. Probably some kind of a giveaway. Uh, I'll figure out how we want to do that. And um, I'll not have probably put that up. Um, probably over the weekend. 26th, 27th. So that you give it a couple days. And then on, on the 1st we'll we'll have a, a live video or something where we if we do a giveaway we'll, we'll, we'll draw the game name or whatever for that but anyway I had really waffling now so I'm going to say good morning good evening, good night, wherever you are in the world when you're watching the video and thanks for watching the video uh, the link for the uh, Airfix Corsair will be in the description if you want a shop card that link will, their email will be in the description and with that I'm going to say good night guys we will see you on our next video